Sour Banane family, we see you, we honor you, and we value you. Your gifts, along with God's grace, allow us to persevere, to mentor, and prepare new leaders as we co-create for future generations. The Proctor Conference is where future meets legacy. We are committed to the forward crusade of faith, equity, and reparatory justice, nationally and globally. We are the place where Ubuntu becomes reality. Your gifts to the Legacy Campaign enables our success, our sustainability, and secures the future. With vision, by faith, and through action, we are the Proctor Conference. I'm so grateful that there is in this world something called the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. You've been on the wall doing the work. Sister Iva Carruthers and so many others, you represent the best of our faith. You represent the faith of the black church, the conscience of the American churches. Thank you for the work that you do. Family, the time has come to work the roots. The roots of Sam DeWitt Proctor, Gardner C. Taylor, Pauli Murray, Bayard Rustin, and the list continues. As the mission of the Sam DeWitt Proctor Conference continues to shape our ethos and worldview. Join us today by committing an annual, one-time or recurring gift to the SDPC Legacy Campaign. We pray that you and your loved ones have been and will remain the benefactors of God's grace and mercy. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference service of weekly prayer and song, the Proctor Pride Dimmick. Today is Friday, June 3rd, and we are so happy to have you with us on this first Friday of Pride Month, and you know we are celebrating all month long. And family, today we also encourage you to wear orange. It is National Gun Violence Awareness Day. Whether you are on Facebook, on YouTube, or any other social media outlet, we are so happy once again to have you with us here today. We would like to invite you to visit our website, sdpconference.info, and we'd also like you to receive text message updates from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, and you can sign up by texting SDPC to the number 84576. We promise we will only use your number for sharing information. And if you know anyone who does not have access to the internet, please let them know that they can listen to this service today at noon and 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time by dialing the number 909-318-7011. We just ask that you please silence your phones when you call in to listen to the prayer call. Thank you so much. And now to our host, Reverend Dr. Michael Elam. Good morning, good morning, Grand Rising. Thank you, Reverend Webb, this morning. Good morning, Sabonani. We see you, we value you. You are important to us. Namaste. The divinity in me salutes the divinity in you. Welcome to PPP.2, Proctor Pride Paradigmic 2022, or as we call it, Black History Month 3.0, because you have Black History Month in February, you have Women's History Month in March, and now we have. Um, uh, we're celebrating pride. We're celebrating pride this month. We are forever indebted to the founders of the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, Reverend Dr. Jeremiah A. Wright, Reverend Dr. Frederick D. Haynes III, and, Reverend, and Dr. Iva Carruthers, Mama Carruthers, for their vision, faith, and courage. And thanking especially for Reverend Jerry Wright for listening to the ancestors and the African Holy Ghost to check her DMs over a year ago. And here we are celebrating and acknowledging PPP Proctor Pride Paradigmic 2022. A call to worship. Merciful Lord, you come, we come to you with a heavy hearted, for we have heard the cries of the slain calling us from the ground. We come remembering all the lives lost to the weapons of war that have flooded our communities. We are reminded of the many bodies locked in jails and prisons all across this country, and we ask for your mercy. Although we find ourselves in a broken world, a world in which hurting people are killing 
and maiming other people it is no mystery that you are a God capable of healing our world through justice and fairness. Your revelation has shown us that you stand firmly with those whose backs are against the wall. Your own life that demonstrates how you come from heaven to earth to redeem creation, our communities and our own lives. So we are asking for the same redemptive power to be unleashed of our, among us at as, uh, as it was on the day of Pentecost. May we be empowered by your spirit to reverse the conditions that produce young men and young women who are driven to, to resort to violence and destructive behavior in their fight to stay alive and struggle to remain free. We know that you have no pleasure in the death of anyone, so we boldly come to the throne of grace today, dear God, seeking your wisdom as create strategies to provide pathways and lifelines to hope and healing. Help us to remember we are all your children created in your image and your likeness. We are connected by a single garment of mutuality and destiny. Cause us to never forget our needs are the same and our calling to address those needs are the same. Reveal to us, Lord, the pain that is felt in Buffalo and Chicago, Uvalde and Tulsa, and the lives lost in the streets of New York and the lives lost in, in, in Camden, New Jersey. The children being buried in Uvalde and the same children being buried in Detroit and Chicago. We cry out to you, heal our souls from the scourge of violence, endow us with the courage to step down from the pulpits and out from behind our desks to seek the peace of the city. In the coming days and weeks, as our leaders debate solutions, Lord, we ask that you grant us the voice to speak truth and to power and demonstrate sacrificial compassion to the hurting. We ask these things, protect us, God, seek us, help us to seek wisdom in this, this epidemic call of gun violence. Our prayer warrior this morning is the Reverend Joshua Miller, who is based in Washington, DC. Reverend Miller works as a senior manager for constituency engagement at Every Town for Gun Safety, a partner organization to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. He was born and raised in Mobile, Alabama. Reverend Miller comes from a strong Christian faith background that informs both his advocacy and his personal life. Our music minister this morning is Tana Brown, who is a vocalist, violinist, entrepreneur, and has, and has an international performance career as a violinist, mezzo-soprano, and has performed throughout the United States, Canada, and Europe. Ms. Brown is an advocate for transgender issues and the arts and often speaking and performing at colleges and universities. Tana Brown is the first transgender woman of color to perform the national anthem for sitting president at the LGBT Leadership Gala Dinner for former President Barack Obama at the Sheraton in New York City. Tana Brown was the first transgender woman to headline at Carnegie Hall, performing a program of African-American composers with an all-inclusive LGBT cast of performers. We welcome our prayer warrior and our music minister this morning. Sit back, relax, meditate, and receive them well this morning.
Good morning. My name is Josh Miller. I am the Senior Manager for Constituency Engagement at Every Town for Gun Safety. I firstly want to thank Jerry Wright and the other members of the Proctor team for inviting me into this space. I was tasked with giving a small prayer, but I think before I did that, I just wanted to uh, take a moment to just acknowledge where we are um, uh, in the world and some of the things that have been happening um, in the country. And then just to very briefly speak on what uh, a space like this that Proctor has very, very carefully curated uh, means to someone such as myself, who is a black man and openly LGBTQ plus. Folks will have seen by now the um, mass shootings that have sort of grabbed the attention of the nation. Uh, folks will have seen the shooting in Buffalo, New York, the shooting in Uvalde, Texas, and the shooting in Laguna Woods. We know that this is nothing new, uh, particularly for our community, uh, when we're talking about armed white supremacy. We can talk about it going all the way back to Tulsa, Oklahoma. And so it's been great to have Samuel Dwight Proctor Conference as a partner in this regard of figuring out ways, strategies, and tactics to combat specifically armed white supremacy and to call attention to it. Um, I think the other thing that I wanted to take a moment um, to reflect on is uh, how much a space like this means LGBTQ plus folks of color. It is so important, especially in uh, moments like today, where we're seeing uh, not only bad gun bills across uh, the various state legislatures pop up, but the don't say gay bills um, that are coming up as well, that we affirm our LGBTQ plus youth of color. And so having a space like the Samuel Joy Proctor Conference, particularly a space uh, that has been curated by people of faith is so important. Um, and so I'm just very grateful to be a part of this. Please join me in a moment of prayer. Gracious Father, we come before you in a time where the world is experiencing great strife. Once again, our communities are being plagued by gun violence and white supremacy. We humbly ask that you cover and provide comfort to the families loved ones who've been directly affected by the tragedies that took place in Buffalo, in Uvalde, in Laguna Woods. We ask that as we continue to have this raucous debate around what should be done about gun violence, that you will give our lawmakers and our decision makers the wisdom to understand that faith without works is dead. That thoughts and prayers, while gracious and kind, are not enough. That action must be taken and that those actions are moved according to your word. Lord. 
we ask that you continue to cover and provide comfort to our LGBTQ plus black youth, Lord, in a moment where the country is seeing and hearing more anti-trans, more anti-LGBTQ plus and racist rhetoric that you continue to cover our children, Lord. We know that every person was created in your image. We know that you provide unconditional love to everyone, not just a select group of people, Lord. I ask that you have Samuel Joy Proctor Conference continue to be a blessing on our communities, particularly our Black LGBTQ plus community and providing spaces like this. <clears throat> that these kinds of programs will continue to expand so that our Black LGBTQ plus youth know that they are loved and that they are affirmed and that they are beautiful just as they are. In closing this prayer, I pray that you will bless every person who is attending this um, video chat. Thank you again, dear Lord, for allowing us to fellowship together. And in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, we thank you, we thank you, Whew. we thank you, Joshua Miller, for your prayers, and we thank you, Tana Brown, for your musical selections. And I just wanted to highlight the importance of this month. Not only are we facing, not only are we coming up on Pentecost, and not only is it just gun, um, anti-gun violence day, um, it also, it also shows you and highlights that there are distractors and there are other voices out there who are talk about a gay agenda, but never have a conversation with black gay folk. And this is an issue for us. White supremacy is an issue for us. Gun violence is an issue for us. So this is, our lists look just like your list. So we don't have it. we have a people agenda. We have a community agenda. We have a pain agenda. We have a God agenda for all of us to work together to build a better community, for all of us, all of us. So we want to thank, again, thank you to the Sammy DeVere Proctor Conference for having the faith and the vision and the courage to open up the doors for these voices to say, here we are, we belong, and we can contribute. And we have something to say and something to contribute to the kingdom of God. Won't you support this work for the Sandy DeWitt Proctor Conference? We invest in this work. This is, the, this is part of the work that we do. This is part of the work that we do. So when you have the time, 
please support the work of the Sam Lee Proctor Conference by investing in our legacy fund. You could do it via our website at www.sdpcconference.info forward slash legacy fund. You can also give on Giveify and um, please search for Sam Lee Proctor Conference. Your investment supports the work for justice and vision of the Sam Lee Proctor Conference. And we are so grateful to you and to be in community with you. Once again, I want to thank everybody who participated this morning and um, who, who highlighted and brightened our day this morning as we kick off PPP, Proctor Pride Pandemic 2022. Of all minds and hearts are clear this morning. Remember to wear orange for, uh, in, in support of Gun Violence Day um, to, um, you know, support that, support that, wear your orange. I got my orange on. And um, go out and talk about the, the need to address this issue. We ask that you do this. We ask that you speak to your colleagues. We ask that you speak to your politicians, local, local, state, local, and, and national. Okay? Thank you. So of all our minds and hearts are clear, now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to make you stand without blemish in the presence of his glory with rejoicing. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time and now and forever. Let the community say amen. Don't let anybody steal your joy. And here's a hug from me this morning. Have a great day. God bless.